first alert weather and live local coverage. This is News 10 at 6. Tonight, we're learning more about what it will take to clean up debris and recover from strong storms two weeks ago. Good evening. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Local emergency managers now working to figure out how much it'll all cost. News 10's tonight, Jordan spoke to local officials to see what their early restoration estimates are looking like. Scattered debris, trees on houses, and downed power lines. This is the aftermath of a severe storm that included an EF2 tornado. Just days after the storms, Captain Andrew Danzer at the Ingham County Sheriff's Office said they responded with all hands on deck. All of our administration came in to assist. We had extra deputies that we called in from off duty. We had tow companies from all over the area, fire departments and ambulances from the area. Extensive damage was reported in Ionia, Eaton, Ingham and Livingston counties. Ingham County Emergency Management was unable to provide an estimate for the county, but early estimates for Lansing are around $10 million. I know a large part of that comes from their public utility, the Lansing Board of Water and Light as a municipally based utility. Eaton County's emergency manager Ryan Wilkinson says they're looking at about $3.6 million in damages. That number, of course, is subject to fluctuate as we determine, uh, you know, other costs incurred, uh, differences in eligible costs or ineligible costs. Step one is complete. Now, city and county officials are working with the state to verify and validate the damage. Tanaya Jordan, News 10. City and county officials are waiting for feedback from the state on the storm damage estimates they've submitted before restoration can move forward. Taking a live look now from our Skycam, a 